going on everybody doing a two-part video i'm gonna shoot this one this is gonna be my top 10 dc i know that drashears and david singer did kind of a video and i kind of want to do my uh my own type video of my top 10 marvel books but like stuff that i found that i really enjoyed that i picked up just because of the cover and basis and hope you guys like this uh like i said if you're doing if you see this try to do it shouldn't be that long five to seven minute video I'll just showcase top 10 uh, picks that I found that when, or actually just stuff digging in my, my comic uh, variant boxes and everything and just stuff that I picked up along the way and through the years that I still think it's a dope ass book that this book's going crazy. First off, it's this one right here. Uh, this is uh, Gwen Poole, issue number 25. It's uh, the last issue, the last issue of, uh, of Gwen Poole's first story arc, I believe. This one is a regular, the C cover. This these this one and the Jim Partell go for like, I believe like uh, let's see, go for like a hundred eighty to one twenty range, eighty buck range. I remember finding this in the wild. I just like the way it portrays that the little comic strip on the on the left side all torn up and half her half her face. It's just the way it is. It's dope ass, dope ass, uh, dope ass comic. Yeah, that's the that's the first one that I choose. Next one is this Beta Ray Bill. Hold on a second. The pause, is bad boy. Yeah, sorry about that. I changed my lighting because the view of the comic, you can't really see. Let me see real quick. Let me try my lighting's a little bit off. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit better, but you can still see kind of a glare. But this is the Beta Ray Bill, issue number three, the one in 25, done by Mike Del Mundo. I just like the way he did uh, Beta Ray Bill, the color and everything. Let me see. I'm having a little bit of issues of, of, the, of the way it looks because of the glare, because of the Mylar, but there it is right there. That's the second one. Third one is this one done by Marco, Marco Mastrasso. Hulk, issue number one. It's the exclusive variant. I just like the way he was drawn, the way it was done. My uh, this story I heard a lot of stuff about it. Next one I had to showcase is this one, Venom number one. This was also done by Marco Mastrasso. Venom number one, a dope ass, dope ass Venom. The way it pops, the color, the everything is just dope. Seen it in person, just another one is done by Manhattanini. Manhattanini. I just saw this. It was thirty bucks when I picked it up. I think it's worth it. If you look at the secondary market of this this dope ass Miles first, I think first cover of his new uniform, I believe. But I thought this was dope ass cover. Couldn't pass this up. Um, this is one that I, I I'm glad to have in the PC, and I think I have another one on my way. But yeah, if you look at the scarce one in twenty five. Issue number 33, just dope ass colors. If you look by the wings, the color of everything goes a little bit different. So that's another one. Another one that I had again when I saw in the wild. Paid cover for this. This is the uh, Stephanie Hans. Uh, was it Storm? Dope ass Storm cover. I don't really see that many Storm variants except like when she's in the rain. But of course, it just it just pops really good. Pops really dope. I really like this one. This is a sick one right here, Storm. Issue number one, Stephanie Hans. It's a, no, issue number 11, sorry about that. It's a one, but it's number 11. I think I think Stephanie Hans did like the last few issues of that story arc. Next one, I picked this one up um, out of town over the summer. I think of this year? I can't remember, man. But this one is, uh, I like this one, Golden Apple exclusive. It's uh, it's it's actually um, David Max cover of Miss Marvel. I thought this one was pretty dope. I only paid I think like twenty for that. I thought that was pretty sick. Another one I picked up when I was over there is this one right here. Uh, so this one is Mike uh, Gabriel Delato. Sorry about that. Gabriel Delato does a lot of oil paints. Dope ass cover. What can you say? Sick ass cover. So yeah, this one is really dope. I really like this one. I like the way um. 
the, it's drawn the marvel and everything it's just it's just dope right it kind of looks like almost like spray paint in the back and then um this one i i only only got one I, I wish i got more but i don't see this that much in a while it has purple lighting it's uh it's a uh, black panther this is the stormbreaker uh patrick gleason a lot of people like the Spider-Man one, which is a dope one. I know he did like first, second, and third prints in the one in twenty-five white. Uh, I think this one is one a dope ass, simple all black Black Panther. I like the way it's drawn, dope. And then the last one I'm gonna showcase is this one right here. <sighs> this one was gifted to me by David Seeking Near Mint, a uh, great guy in the community. I I always wanted to find this book in the wild, never could. And I, I, I seen that he had an extra one of this, and he was able to gift me this. It's near mint. It's a dope ass cover. It was an AOK. -okay. Um, I love this one. Jenny Friesen. You can't go wrong with Jenny Friesen. Uh, this one is just hands down one of the best, best Psylocke covers that I know. I know there's some, but this one one of the best ones is Death of X. The uh, I can't remember what ratio this is. It's just a dope ass. Hard to find. Hard to find in the wild. You know, hard to find in the wild, a uh, book that I can't find, I can never find unless I go to cons or anything. But once again, this is Gomez Comic Collector. Like I said, these are my top ten. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are my top ten. Marvel covers of this year that I cho chose going towards the end of the year of 2020 to see what 2021 will have. So much stuff out there. I'm happy to have these in the PC. There's some that I could have showcased, but I don't want to show slabs. I want to show raw books. Next video is going to be my top 10 DC books that I chose of of my collection of this year. What I what I um, put together and um, hopefully you like this video. Be sure to like, subscribe. If you see this. I'm not I'm, I'm trying if you want to do it. I'm trying to, you know, it's, it's awesome to do these videos once in a while just to showcase some stuff in your PC, re, 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 reconcile or not reconcile, but like kind of rejoice what, what you have in your collection that sometimes you forget that you have in your boxes. Once again, it's Gomez signing out. If you're watching this, uh, happy uh, belated new year, happy new year's. If you're watching this, um, hopefully 2022 will bring more stuff, uh, less struggles, more grind, and more reading time. I'm out. Peace. Yep. Gomez, CC.